ladies and gentlemen, young and old alike, future innovators and leaders of industry, to those that shape minds and to those that drive the automotive industry. Buckle up and get ready for the ride. Your SEMA show experience will officially start in three, two, one. This is my first time to the SEMA show. I'm very excited to be here. I've only ever seen it through pictures and articles on the internet. And it's always just seemed so glamorous and wild and there's cars and, and it's something I've always wanted to do and I'm so glad I'm finally here. The SEMA show is really where you see all of the innovation firsthand. SEMA's unlike any show out there. You get to see all these new companies, you get to see all their new products, you get to go out and introduce yourself, make connections. You have everybody in one place here. It's a gold mine for people who are looking to talk to as many potential employers as possible. To me, SEMA's about connection. We love just networking with people and meeting people and finding opportunities. You can walk around and meet the higher-ups at K&N or Ford Performance or any of these smaller shops that just do lighting equipment. That's what makes this show so special is that everyone is represented. SEMA comes with a variety of just about anything you could ask for. SEMA is the definitive, authoritative source for anyone in the automotive industry. You have to be here. Like, oh, do you want more of the music? You're gonna have to wait, there's more music to come. This is a good looking crowd, look at this. It's crazy to think it wasn't that long ago that maybe we had 300 people show up to this thing. Now we're filling up the theater, how about that? So listen, like we, like we wanna say at SEMA, welcome home, welcome home. Welcome to an industry that takes a look at a perfectly fine car and says, yeah, we can make that better. An industry that cares just as much about wrenching in the garage with your dad or your mom as it does burning up the quarter mile or drifting through a turn. An industry that looks at a rock or a mountain and is determined to climb it. An industry that sees a salt flat and knows that the speed record is just the starting point. An industry that pushes innovation, that pushes the envelope, that colors outside the lines. An industry that is about being different and damn proud of it. An industry that is about family. If that sounds like you, welcome to SEMA. We're glad to have you. My name is Zane Clark. I have the distinct privilege of working with some of the best people in the industry. AJ Carney, Juliet Marshall, Byron Bergman, Katie Hurst, Brian Harrison, and Nathan Reidenauer. If you see them this week, and chances you will, please give them a thank you. In fact, let's give them a thank you now. They built this. <laughs> Now some people, if you were here last year, probably expected me to do a little bit of a dance. I'm not going to do that. But I am gonna take a little bit of a risk and go out on a limb here. And I'm gonna utter five words, five words, that you will probably find offensive, right? Nervous yet? I think my boss is over there, he's probably nervous. Uh, your eyes are probably gonna roll in the back of your head, might shuffle in your seats, take a defensive posture like this. I see that a lot. 
Are you ready for the five words? What? Yes. All right. Five words. When I was your age. <laughs> this gentleman over here is ready to rush the stage. We have security, sir. Just stay seated. I get it. It's usually uttered after those words by a lecture from some old dude. Check. Check box there. From somebody that doesn't really understand what you're going through or the situation you're in. Maybe that's true. But I bring it up and I'll share this with you. Because I recognize the impact that those words have, I give you permission to boo and heckle me should I say that again. So let's try this. I really want to feel your hate. So when I say it, go ahead and boo and heckle as loud as you can. When I was your age. <laughs> nice blazer. I got a compliment on my blazer. Thank you very much. It is a nice blazer. All right. So listen, I get it. I get it. But the reason I bring it up is this. I don't think I really would have appreciated the opportunity that coming to the SEMA show was. What a tremendous opportunity it is when I... <laughs> well, no, I didn't say it, so you're really just booing yourself. <laughs> See, old people do know something, all right? I don't know if I would have appreciated what an opportunity it was. Um, it is a tremendous opportunity. So listen, what we realize is that life is just a series of opportunities, one after the next. Some you're going to hit out of the park, some you're going to fall a little bit short on, and that's okay. The only opportunities I've ever really regretted are the ones that I was scared to take, the ones I kind of half-assed it on, that I didn't go for, because I was scared, because I didn't think I was deserving enough. I put my self-worth, my self-identity in somebody else, something else, and I let that dictate my behavior. And that sticks. That stays with you a while. You don't want to be in that spot. You want to be able to go for it. But this idea of opportunity was really interesting to me, and I wanted to kind of just figure out what exactly do we mean when we talk about opportunity. So I went to the all-knowing Google, and this is what Google says about opportunity. It is a set of circumstances that make it possible to do something. A set of circumstances that make it possible to do something. Now, there's a lot there, so I kind of want to unwrap that a minute, for a minute. A set of circumstances. In life, most times you have to create your circumstances. Other times they're going to be presented to you. For example, you've arrived here in Las Vegas at the SEMA show through a series of actions, decisions, the support of your school instructors. You've arrived here in Las Vegas at the SEMA show. For this week, this is your set of circumstances, right? You're here at Launchpad. Then following Launchpad, you will go over to a student career day where there's close to 50 companies waiting to speak with you. For the female students later this afternoon, you'll go to a private networking event, Gear Up Girl, where you'll meet some amazing women and leaders in our industry. Tomorrow, there's a student networking lunch where you'll get to hear from an industry panel that is there specifically to talk to you about careers. Then you have the show itself arguably one of the most important shows in the automotive industry. 2,500 plus companies, new products, innovation, all here in one spot for you to consume. So the table's been set for you. Your job is just to pull up a seat at that table. That brings us to the second part of opportunity. That is that it makes it possible. Nothing is guaranteed. You cannot guarantee the outcome. You do have to work at it, but you can't guarantee it. And when you really understand that the only thing you can control is what you put into it, not the outcomes, that is very liberating and empowering to understand that, hey, I'm just going to put my best foot forward. I'm going to prepare. I'm going to tackle this thing. And we'll see where the outcome lands. That's the place you want to be. But that requires work. And that brings us to the third and most important part of an opportunity. And that is the do something part. You have to do something. You have to earn it. Nothing's going to be given to you. I see it every year. We have tons of students come out. Some are going to hang out with your friends, your classmates, and you'll see a lot of cars. And that's cool. There is nothing wrong with that. But there are other students that come here with a sense of purpose, a sense of direction, a goal. They understand that this week is like a long interview. 
Because whether you're conscious of it or not, you are constantly being evaluated. And every interaction that you have, every conversation that you have, every casual passing, you are being evaluated. You'll walk through the halls, you may bump into somebody like a Chip Foose or a Gail Banks or an Aaron Kaufman. You may have the opportunity to talk to such leaders as a Melanie White or a Wade Kawasaki who have the opportunity to change the trajectory of your career just by the sheer influence of people they know. But the way you show up, the way you present yourself is gonna make a difference. So my question to you, SEMA class of 2019, is what are you gonna do with that opportunity? What will you do with that opportunity? So now, if you're serious, I'm going to the flashcards. If you're serious about this week, I'm going to ask you to stand up. Anybody? There it is. I was nervous there for a minute. <laughs> Instructors, industry guests, students, stand up. It starts with standing up. I can see people up there, too. Very good. All right. So we are going to do the first ever SEMA Show Student Program Oath. So I want you to raise your right hand. Look at that person with the, the hand cast. That's awesome. That dude's committed. All right. So repeat after me. You ready for this? <laughs> you are smart, Alex, sir. All right. I will own what makes me unique. I will not sell or give away my badge. <laughs> Not a joke. I will, I will respect the past, respect the past and, forge the and forge the future. I will not, I will not sneak, out of my room sneak out of my room and lose all my money. All, my money. all right. I will, I will take a lot of pictures, lot of pictures. and tag team education. Yes. I, will I will act with integrity. Act with integrity. I, will not I will not end up, end up in, a Vegas in a Vegas jail or hospital. Jail or hospital. Excellent. <laughs> and then finally, I will Make the, most Make the most of this opportunity. Of this opportunity. Very good. By the power invested in me by the Specialty Equipment Market Association, I hereby grant you access to the 2019 SEMA show. Oh, thank you. Thank you.